It was designed to be an instant iconic image on the Vancouver skyline with a name that oozes class. A gleaming tower designed by Arthur Erickson spiraling 60 stories above the downtown core. But tonight, the half million dollar development called the Residences at the Ritz Carlton is on its deathbed, the latest victim of the global recession. And Drua reports. Despite construction activity, plans for a luxury hotel and condos at the site along Georgia Street in Vancouver is soon coming to a halt. The half billion dollar Ritz Carlton Hotel condo project is on hold indefinitely. Ideally, you know, I would like to see this kind of project go ahead, you know, but what, what has happened in the market right now, um, you know, it would be very foolish for any developer. I think it would be bad for the city as well if we went ahead and, you know, turns out that the project is a total flop. The developer says it had the right to cancel because fewer than 75 units were sold by the end of the month. Buyers have been sent letters and deposits will soon be returned. The letter stating, we hereby give you notice that the vendor cancels and terminates the contract. As a result of this termination, the contract is now at an end. We decided it was best for us um, just to, um, I guess, exercise that clause and uh, return, uh, cancel the agreement to return the deposits and take a step back and uh, just really um, rethink what is the best strategy uh, going forward for the site. The project was impressive. A unique twisting tower, 60 stories high, designed by world-renowned architect Arthur Erickson. The first 20 floors, a hotel, condos taking up the remainder at a cost of between $1.4 million and $28 million. But perhaps the fate of this project isn't that surprising. Last October, work stopped at the site, the developers saying it was for design purposes, but admitted sales were soft. You know, look at downtown Vancouver right now, there's only 1,055 units under 10 years old on the market. There's, there's very little there, but I, I, th I think the, the word is, do you take the risk and go ahead right now? And a prudent developer is just standing back and seeing where the economy is going to level out. But other industry analysts say when it comes to real estate, it was time to clean out the excess. Well, I see it's a good thing, not necessarily for the investors and not necessarily for the city because it was a beautiful addition to our skyline, but it's good because we have less product on the market, there's less competition for the existing units that are out there. So for now, this empty piece of land will remain vacant, far from the luxury that was envisioned months ago. The developers say they still plan to put a building on the site and they're still weighing their options, but they can see that everything now depends on the economy.